Behold, barbed wire, but where did it come from? Meet Joseph Glidden, born in New York in 1813. Joseph was originally a school teacher in New York, but by the time he was in his late 30s, he'd already moved to Illinois and taken a job as the sheriff of DeKalb County. You may have heard the expression, good fences make good neighbors before. This was especially true in DeKalb at the time. Cattle ranchers needed reliable ways to control their herds, and farmers needed fences to prevent animals from trespassing into their crops. In 1873, Joseph saw an interesting demonstration. A man named Henry Rose had a new concept for fencing. His design featured a wooden rail with spikes protruding from the sides of the rail. This idea intrigued Joseph, but he was certain it could be improved. He buckled down and went to work. By 1873, he patented the stuff of genius we call barbed wire. Here's how it works. Joseph used a coffee grinder to sharpen wire barbs, which he placed at regular intervals along a smooth wire. He twisted a second wire around the first to hold the barbs steady. Joseph wasn't the first person to invent a form of barbed wire, nor was he the first person to market this product. However, his patent is the basis for the modern barbed wire used in the United States and across the world today.